As we all know, the road to the final four is a long one. How long? News Tree's Michelle Lee has the answer, and she joins us now live from Indianapolis. Michelle, you made it. <laughs> I made it. You know, Eric, for the Badgers, for the team, it's been a really long road. For us, 370 miles, not too bad. But I know a lot of people at home are thinking about making the trip in the next couple of days, so we thought it might be a good idea to let folks at home know kind of what they're in for. No one said the road to Indy would be easy. It takes about six hours of this, that, and the other. So along the way, we try to break up the monotony. We bypass Chicago to save a headache. Our first stop was Rockford, Illinois. And would you believe it? This is the home of the famous sock monkey. This is actually the birthplace of the famous Nelson Red Heel sock monkey. So where did the sock monkey come from? Well, the sock monkey originated right here in Rockford, Illinois. The John Nelson Knitting Company was instrumental in creating the red-heeled sock. And obviously that red heel makes the mouth. And um, people just started to uh, go ahead and make the sock monkey out of this sock. Come for the sock monkeys, but stay for the Rockford peaches and learn the history of women's baseball. There's no crying in baseball! But it's okay, you can certainly get choked up here. Moving on and feeling parched, we decided to grab a drink in Oglesby. So this is Woody, the A&W root beer man. He's actually moved around quite a bit over the last 50 years, but he now has a permanent home at the root beer stand just off Highway 23. How good is the root beer here? The root beer here is the best. We make it homemade in the basement. It's so good, so sweet. It's, it's perfect, it's the best. They even have car hops at this throwback, and on this day, burgers were just a buck fifty. Now that we've had our root beer, we felt it was time for champagne. Well, if we had a radar road trip, we would give it two thumbs up. And you know what? So would this guy, Roger Ebert. The famous movie critic spent a lot of his early days here in Champaign, and now this statue is a main attraction for a lot of road trippers. We told you the road to Indy was long, but ours stops at 368 miles, though we're all hoping we go a final four. <laughs> okay, get it? The final four. We are here. And you know what? It was really a nice way to break up the drive. Eric, I know you're from Indiana, so you've made this drive before. You said there wasn't anything to see, but I got you a pair of really awesome sock monkey socks uh, red heel socks from the sock monkey I'll tell museum you, that, so how about that that is awesome because that drive is painful but you made it very interesting so hopefully a lot of badger fans will follow and i do encourage the trip down through the center of illinois it's boring but it's quicker and you avoid the traffic in chicago <laughs> it's not boring not boring <laughs> <laughs> awesome stuff